hey guys welcome to my channel today we'll be talking about the 21 year old who was stabbed 46 times by her jealous girlfriend and that's tawny beard tawny beard was from utah usa everyone remember her as a lovely girl with a warmer heart and a warm smile very hardworking, bold and determined she had big plans for her life she was said to become wildly successful she had the desire to become a revered singer leading an extravagant californian lifestyle however fate had other plans for this intelligent woman when tawny was only 17 years old all curious and daring to break free she met some people at a party they got her into weed and drugs and started enjoying them unfortunately it turned out to be the worst decision she ever made to start doing weed drugs and partying in june 2010 tony and her friends were driving across town high on weed they even had some weed bong and paraphernalia in the car so when an officer stopped to check them things didn't look good even though everyone in the vehicle was partaking weed tawny took full responsibility for possession she did it because she was a minor while her friends were over 18 years old she would receive a softer punishment than the others she was sent to the juvenile treatment facility for 90 days she was terrified to be there because she was a regular teen who took the blame for her friends in comparison the other kids in the facility were much more aggressive and violent yet at the facility she met her confidante a fellow inmate victoria mendoza who was also 17 years old she had a rough childhood her parents had moved to the u.s from mexico and life was harsh the poor kid was put through unimaginary hoops at a very young age and she had been to the facility multiple times when victoria was in the facility her mom was diagnosed with cancer the news shocked her and she didn't take it well it frustrated her that she couldn't be there for her mom victoria helped tony survive juvi and tony helped victoria process her emotion the two bonded over their love for writing and creating music they were always together supporting each other the relationship evolved eventually and they became more than just friends tawny came out to her mother and she was beyond excited to introduce victoria tawny's mother was also very supportive of her daughter's choices and was happy that she met someone who protected and cared for her child in august 2020 tawny was released from the facility she promised victoria that she wouldn't see anyone else and would write to her all the time and tawny religiously kept her promise victoria also got released from the center a month later and tawny was eager to introduce victoria to her family they all seemed very enthusiastic until they met toward tawny family especially her father couldn't help but notice the difference between the two. Tawny was an extrovert who loved chatting and helping people. She was an outgoing and flirty person. In contrast, Victoria was more introverted, rigid, and silent. Victoria got more comfortable with Tawny's family over the month. They took care of her like their own daughter. Tawny friends also loved her and she started opening up to Tawny's world. Everyone believed the two seemed perfect for each other and they deserved the best. As time passed, the novelty of their relationship were off and the two started fighting and arguing all the time. While both felt jealous and insecure, to some degree, Victoria's feelings were more visible. She was envious of Tony's relationship. She was constantly worried that someone might influence Tony's sexual preference and shed abundance. Things got so bitter that Victoria started threatening people when they got remotely involved in Tony's life. Even if someone commented on Tony's pictures on social media, she'd believe Tony was cheating on her with that person despite tawny's repeated attempts to explain her feelings victoria had convinced herself that tawny was cheating on her so as a mark of an objection victoria cheated on tawny with her best friend lacy she believed that this act of betrayal would teach tawny a lesson and she would stop acting out 
Now, Tony was heartbroken and broke up with Victoria. Victoria, determined to get her back, apologized to her through creating a video stating she regretted her actions and promised not to let down Tony again. In 2012, Victoria's mother succumbed to cancer and Tony's family took Victoria in. But moving in changed Tony's and Victoria's relationship. Spending every waking moment with each other turned out to be a bad idea. There was con constantly arguing and physical assault. Victoria followed her everywhere, even in the house. She also hacked her phone and computer to check her messages. They were toxic and things kept getting worse day by day. Tony's mom saw how destructive their relationship was but didn't know what to do. Once Tony and Victoria had gone out on a date, something happened and the two started fighting. Victoria got angry. She punched Tony in the face and knocked her tooth off. Tony's mother had a bad feeling about the incident. In 2014, Tony and Victoria went to Ogden, Utah for a party. Many of Tony's friends, including Lacey, the girl with whom Victoria treated with her. Even though things seemed normal, people could sense the tension between Lacey, Tony, and Victoria. At the party, something turned Victoria off. She locked herself in the bathroom and didn't come out for a long time. Lacey later speculated that Tony's joyful giggle triggered Victoria. Eventually, Victoria came out of the bathroom and ordered Tony to leave immediately. Though Tony hesitated to go because she was having a good time, Victoria insisted, so they left. Lacey requested the couple to drop her off on their way home. They agreed. Even on the way, the two kept fighting for one reason or the other. While it seemed normal to Lacey, unfortunately, it wasn't. A few hours later, the police department received a call. The caller, who turned out to be Victoria's sister, informed them Tony Beard was dead. The police rushed to the crime scene. The officers found Victoria bloody and blazed in the driver's seat. They asked Victoria if she was okay and requested her to step out. Visibly shaken, Victoria notified them that her girlfriend was in the car. Seeing her state, the officers asked if she had a weapon on her and she admitted to having a knife. The officers then looked inside the car and found bloodstained, tawny, pale and quiet. The police brought Victoria to custody and questioned her about the events of the evening. The more they spoke, the more they realized she did not understand the gravity of the situation. She kept asking Tony if Tony was okay and when she could meet her. It seemed like she didn't know that Tony had already passed away. Victoria insisted that she didn't mean to hurt Tony and only wanted to scare her. But rage took her over and she ended up stabbing her multiple times. However, the sad part was no one, including Tony's friend and family, was informed of the horrible incident. Victoria pleaded not guilty in the first trial and even threatened suicide. However, the police were day and night to gather a lot of evidence against her. She ended up pleading guilty in subsequent trial. She told the court, I understand why they're hurt. I am hurt as well. I have no excuse for what I've done and that's why I plead guilty. Even when I knocked her tooth off, her family helped her helped me cover it. I have nothing else to say. I'm the wrong one here. I'm the monster. 
the judge sentenced Victoria to 16 years to life in prison and she could get payroll only after 24 years. I don't know where to start right now. I, um, I have a lot of things on my mind that I want to say, but I, I keep going blank because I know that I'm recording myself and I know that I'm doing, like, I know that I'm on video and stuff, but I'm going to just start from where I feel like I need to start and end where I need to end. First, I want to say is I'm sorry for hurting you and cheating on you with your best friend. And your best friend is a slut, and I don't like her. She's gross, and I can give a fuck less. Alright? So, um, this video is like an apology to you. And the girl I'm talking about is Tawny. And I'm trying to get her back to be with me so I can keep So, guys... This is a really sad one about Tony Beard who was killed by her jealous girlfriend, Victoria Mendoza. Right. Boys and girls, or should I say ladies and gentlemen, if you are in a relationship where the person is being obsessed with you, right, and also abusive, Come on, red flag right there. Do not stay in relationship where you are not shown loved or even cared for. That's just not good for you overall. Yes, you should care about others, but yourself also comes first before anyone. How can you love anyone? if you don't love yourself first this was the case for victoria mendoza and i think that she have some mental issues she seemed like the bipolar type of person and tony was really wrong for even making friends with her if you're in a facility where you see so much violent people right and you see a little sketch in of that characteristic in someone like that why would I even think that I am the right person to be with this person that's really crazy and you're telling me that this girl is living in a home also with her parents and this girlfriend who's been abusive and her mother saw that she was being abused and she kept it on the low i could see that the father wasn't even in agreement with this type of relationship because he spotted the difference i think if the father knew more about what was going on he would take it take it up in his own hands to have it dealt with the right and proper way to get rid of victoria mendoza out of out of tawny beard's life also tawny is to be blamed by also letting her get back to her after what she did if someone say that they love you and they are being insecure and then go about cheating on you just to make you jealous not wanting the other person to even how that even going to help to stop the person from cheating if they actually want to cheat if you guys get what i'm saying so guys i really and truly need your views on this true story horrific story of tawny beard right and also stay tuned guys for more updates and thank you very much for watching